If you know me, you know that in the last five years I have been desperate to get a dog. And I always said that the first thing that I would do uh, arriving in the United States would be to go get our puppy. Uh, so <laughs> we arrived in the United States three weeks ago, right after the Annapolis Boat Show, we were in a car en route to go pick up our new crew member. Yeah. Go. Hi. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Where are we going, Ryan? We're gonna go pick up a barnacle. Yeah! Oh my god, excuse the face. Uh, there was not a lot of sleep last night. We just got done at the Annapolis Boat Show, jumped in the car, drove for five and a half hours to uh, Durham in North Carolina slept for about six hours in a crappy hotel <laughs> haven't really had the time to uh, do anything with my face this morning but I'm so excited yeah also I don't have I don't have oh this is cotton those are cotton fields it's been a long process and the day has finally come we didn't really have a lot of time to prepare all the supplies since we arrived in the United States. So I ordered everything uh, of uh, Chewy, just a big, uh, big pet website. And I just built the crate in the, in the car. There are pet supplies everywhere. Uh, so this is gonna be fun. Yes, that's it. Oh my God, Ryan, this is it. Oh my God. That's it, guys. We're getting our puppy. Visitor parking this way. Okay. Okay, nice. All right, Barnacle. We're gonna do a little thing before you go. Wink, wink. Who is that? Ooh, wow. That's a new toy. It's your color. Uh, that was the smallest little thing we could find. Two fingers. Oh my God! It's so big. It's so big for her. It is 10 something? 10.30. 10.30. We managed to make Barney potty. And now she is in her crate. We have had... She seems to be doing good in the crate. We have had very little whining. We had a little bit of whining earlier today when we put her in the crate the first time. But then she found her toys and she was like, oh, this is the best thing ever. And now she's pretty happy. So she's with us tonight and um, I put her on a schedule which should have her sleep like a long way through the night. A uh, girl has shown us today that she can hold her bladder so fingers crossed, wish us luck. Good morning. We don't need an alarm clock anymore because every day at 7 a.m. this girl Needs to pee and poop. Okay, let's go. We have gotten so lucky with the potty training of this puppy. Uh, the first two nights he woke us up maybe a couple of times. After a few days it was once a night and less than a week after we got her she started going through the night. Like we put her to bed around 9 30 10 and she wakes up at 7. And she's happy. She's so cute. Are we playing now? Is it time for a play? Playing. Hey, hey. Ooh, hi, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, yes. Good morning. Oh. oh. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. Oh. 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 Oh, now you're biting. 
Now you're doing a little TD. Is that mommy? Oh, look at there's so much stuff going on here. Oh, it's so exciting. Ah. Good morning, Ryan. Are you going to take the, bar the barnacle out? Well, I guess. I don't think she's quite ready. I think she's just excited. I'm up. <laughs> well, she had a she had a big eat. She had a big play. It's time for her to potty. Alright. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Let's go. Alright, that is five minutes during which I can make coffee and breakfast without being interrupted. How's work going? About to start my next call. <laughs> but there you go. Boat life. Are you the most unhappy puppy in the world? Oh. Hi, it is 1 p.m. I am still in my PJ. I have a poop, a little poop bag hanging off my pocket. It's empty. Um, I look like... Yeah, no comment. I had a little food today, get a little bit of work done, and uh, and I have not showered. That's how that's how puppy life is going at the moment. Okay, ready? All right, let's go. Ready? Okay, Barnacle. <laughs> All right, you want to walk yourself? Is that what's happening? All right, okay, you're walking yourself. That's fine. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh yeah, you found my laces. You found my shoelaces. Okay, come on. You, I was not the one interesting you. Come on. So my goal here, Barnacle, uh, she is a Maltese Poodle mix, uh, also known as a Malti Poo. And uh, she is 12 weeks old. She is 3.2 pounds as of this morning when she went to the vet. Oh my God. Yes, I love you, Barney. Oh. Yeah, we call her Barney for short. She is the sweetest dog ever. She loves everybody. She loves cuddles. Did you want a dog, Ryan? I did want a dog. What kind of dog did you want? I wanted a medium-sized dog. Okay. Not this little handheld thing. But now <laughs> that I have this little handheld thing, she's amazing. Aww. She literally is handheld. Check this out. Handheld. <laughs> In my palm. But she's a puppy. She's a puppy. <laughs> she'll get, she'll probably get, we think about 10 pounds, that's what we hope, maybe a little bigger. She's more fur than creature yeah. at the moment. I call, I call her 90% fluff, 10% rabbit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Barnacle! <gasps> Hi, baby! Hi! Yes! <gasps> Hello! Oh, yes! Yes! We wanted a dog that didn't shed. Uh, or Check. shed very little, which Check. he does because he is a poodle mix, so he has hair. Uh, the downside of that is that he has uh, a lot of grooming needs. Like we have to brush her every day. And uh, we wanted a dog that would stay small uh, because our boat is small. We didn't want the dog to feel constricted to a small world. Mm -hmm. Right now, Barney is a little bit distracted because he is teething really hard. Like in the last 24 hours, uh, she doesn't know what to do with herself. She needs to constantly have something in her mouth. She's super wild, but also in, in pain. My little floof. Oh, you don't know what to do with your mouth. Oh, I feel so bad for you. You're in pain, baby. She's Ooh. amazing. When I uh, thought about the video in which I would finally get to introduce you to our puppy, 
uh, I really wanted to document everything, the first steps, the moment we get her. <laughs> and I quickly realized that I couldn't both have a camera in my hand and prevent this little lady from killing herself uh, on everything. It's like having a new baby, I would suspect. So this is our introduction to Barnacle. Hey baby. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. Love shake. Go. Hi. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! So one of the reasons we get our dog right now, uh, because now between the end of the Annapolis boat show and November, December, which is going to be when we haul out Policeal for the winter, we have a little bit of downtime to leave on board with Barnacle and get her used to everything on the boat. So uh, all the noises, the engine, the pumps, uh, the space, the smells, uh, everything. So we're actually gonna go sail with her a couple of times. In the last two weeks, we've really been working on um, the potty schedule, which she is doing amazing. Uh, we've been working on the crate training. Uh, for us, it is very important that she feels really good in the crate because uh, for her safety, when we're out sailing, when we come in and out of harbor, we need to be able to put her in the crate for her to be safe and, uh, and feel comfortable. I am sure that you are wondering how Potty is going on the boat. Uh, the answer is it's not. <laughs> so we actually bought her a turf mat, like a fake grass mat, but for now it is absolutely not working. All she wants to do is to chew on that piece of turf and chewing on turf for her right now and even as an adult is not a good thing uh, we don't want the little pieces of plastic to uh, uh, end up in her tummy so for now we're just working on uh, the potty schedules and not having accidents which um, we're doing great well it's been it's been a couple of weeks that she's with us and we can still count on one hand the amount of times that she's had an accident in the boat and all the times it was our fault and it's good because now she's starting to signal that she needs to go to the bathroom. She understands that uh, outside of the companion way is where she needs to go do her business. And I have to say, I am very grateful that we are at a marina for her first time on board. It makes life so much easier. I can't imagine how we would have done with little puppies on anchor in a small boat. Uh, we would have made it happen. We would have made it work but that would, have been, that would have been a lot harder. It's a lot of work, but when I envisioned getting a puppy, I thought that it would be way more than it actually is. I thought that for an entire month, I would have to get up in the middle of the night to uh, get her to potty. Turns out after four days, the girl decided that she was gonna sleep through the night. Thought mommy and daddy had a good idea. Just sleep through it. So, uh, so we're pretty happy with that, and we feel very lucky. She's uh, she's doing really great. She really enjoys the crates now already after two weeks, which is amazing. Uh, she loves people. Her mission in life is to go say hi to everyone. Uh, and so, if you're around here in the Chesapeake. Indianapolis area or where we currently are docked at uh, Harrington Harbor South. Come say hi. Uh, Bonnie will love say hi to you. Right girl? That's right. <laughs> That's right mom. So yeah, it's been a great time. Um, so excited to uh, introduce you guys to our new crew member. She's amazing. We're so excited. We're also really happy that we took this time uh, right before we are due to spend a few months on land for the off season, the winter, uh, so that we can go through the worst of puppyhood with her in an environment where we have space uh, before we head north to Canada next year, uh, which is a great place for us to uh, continue training on the boat with her before we uh, continue to do big 
ocean passages, offshore sailing, and stuff like that. Like we really wanted to take it step by step with her and for her to feel very comfortable on board. Oh yeah, that's what you want. You want the, you want the toy. You want the, oh yeah. 